Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So today in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top four mistakes that I see people make on one meal a day so they can feel the best whilst eating one meal a day and actually sustain it long term and get the full benefits from it. But before I go into talking all about that, I first wanna give a shout out to Clean Machine who have sponsored this video. I'm now working with this company and they're focused upon plant-based fitness nutritional supplements to optimize testosterone production, a fat loss, muscle gain, to optimize sports performance, reduce your recovery time after intense training, and a whole host of other amazing benefits as well. And I personally take their supplements on a regular basis and absolutely love them. And I actually did a full unboxing and review video recently, which you can go and check out. And there is coupon codes in that video so you can get anywhere from 20 to 30% off. So if you're interested in those, you can go and check out that video. So the first mistake that I'm gonna talk about, which is one of the biggest mistakes that stops a lot of people getting the greatest benefits from eating one meal a day. And that is not having a consistent fasting and eating schedule. And you may be wondering, well, what do you mean about that? So if you wanna get the full benefits from one meal a day, it is best to fast around 23 hours a day and only eat for a one hour window. And the reason for that is when you're only eating for that one hour window, rather than two or three hours, you're obviously gonna be fasting for much longer every single day. And the longer that you fast with daily intermittent fasting, such as one meal a day, you're gonna get even greater benefits for increasing things such as testosterone production, human growth hormone production, lowering insulin, improving insulin sensitivity, and a whole host of other benefits that you get from eating one meal a day are just gonna be optimized as much as possible. So for example, if you wanna get the greatest weight loss benefits as fast as possible with one meal a day, it's gonna be best to only eat for around one hour. And by doing this, it's actually gonna be easier for you to sustain this every single day because you're pretty much gonna eat at the same time every single day. Unlike if you was eating for hours and hours and hours in one sitting, what you're gonna find is every following day after the one meal that you've had, from the day before, you're just gonna have to be pushing back your eating window to way, way later in the day, which is just gonna be really hard for you to sustain and just mentally and emotionally, it can make it way more difficult as well. And you wanna be doing something that you can sustain easily over time. And when you're just eating for that one hour window of fasting for around 23 hours, you don't have to think, oh, do I eat this time now and this time? If you are eating for a longer period of time, you're gonna to have to have all these different times that you eat and it could just be very overwhelming and confusing. But say you eat at 5 p.m., you finish eating at six. Again, you just know you just eat at five, finish at six, and just keep doing it over and over again. And number two is just not drinking enough water throughout the whole fasting window, which drinking adequate amounts of water for the majority of people are just gonna make you feel the best throughout the day and give you the most optimal energy levels. It's also gonna help give you the best digestion possible. And when you're intermittent fasting, your body is releasing an abundance of different toxic substances that it wants to eliminate. So by making sure you're well hydrated throughout the day, you can help your body to eliminate them as effectively as possible, which is gonna make you feel way better whilst in the fasted state. And also another and additional benefit is it's gonna massively decrease your appetite so you're gonna find it easier to fast for around 23 hours so then you can actually sustain eating one meal a day to get the greatest benefits from it. And yes, you can do what a lot of people do, which is dry fasting, which I've talked about in videos before where you abstain from all liquids and foods, but I would not recommend this to anyone that's not naturally drawn to do this and not to people that don't have a lot of knowledge on this subject to do it as safely as possible. And for a lot of people, it can just not make you feel the best whilst combining dry fasting with eating one meal a day. Number three, and this is specifically to do with calorie intake. And it could either be eating not enough calories or overeating. And it can be a fine line between the two. Obviously, if you're going 
to want to get the greatest weight loss benefits, when you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna get way greater weight loss benefits with one meal a day. But if you're eating an extremely low amount of calories over a period of time, or even early on with one meal a day, what a lot of people will find is whilst you're in the fasting state and waiting to get to that point of 23 hours so you can eat your next meal, a lot of people are just gonna feel that their energy levels are really bad throughout the day, their mood's really bad, they're just not feel good at all mentally or physically, holistically, you can get a whole host of unwanted negative effects that is just gonna make it impossible for you to sustain it long term. So make sure that you're eating enough calories so you can feel the best throughout the fasting window. And then on to overeating. If you're someone that is eating way over the amount of calories, that your body needs. Obviously, if you're someone that's trying to maximize muscle growth and you're training on a regular basis to actually make your muscles grow, then being in a calorie surplus is gonna help with you maximizing muscle growth. But if you are just eating way, way above the amount of calories that your muscles can use up and your whole body, it can just make you feel really, really bad. And I know this from my own personal experience, yes, when I'm normally eating one meal a day, I will just make sure that I'm eating sufficient calories. But there's times that I have done one meal a day in the past and overeating. And when I overeat, it just makes me feel really, really rough after eating. And the next day, I'm more cloudy in my head. My energy level's not as good. My mood's not as good. It also can have a negative effect on your digestion. And it's just not a good thing to be doing whatsoever. And for some people, this doesn't happen for everyone. It can make you start to gain excess fat, but it can be quite difficult to do that even when you're overeating with one meal a day. So for you with eating one meal a day, maybe you're not feeling good. Maybe it's due to eating too many calories or too little calories and you need to switch it up and experiment with the amount of calories you're eating daily for your one meal a day. Number four, and this is something that is so, so important, especially to sustain eating one meal a day long term. And I learned this from Dr. Noon Amun Ra, which is one of the main teachers that is known out there in the world for promoting one meal a day. And as he says, and I knew this with other specific diets before being on one meal a day as well, is make sure that you're getting enough of the macronutrients that you need to have optimal health holistically, and also make sure that you're hitting every single micronutrient as well. Because if, for example, you're not eating adequate amounts of protein in your one meal a day, you are going to have issues with neurotransmitter production within the body. And neurotransmitters are things such as serotonin, dopamine, neuroepinephrine, epinephrine, and there's a variety of other different ones. And these neurotransmitters are key to have the most optimal energy levels, cognitive, function, mental health, mood, and a whole host of other different benefits that you actually need just to feel your best every single day. So make sure that you are getting adequate amounts of high quality protein, and also make sure that you're eating enough fats that are healthy fats, especially fats that have a better omega-3 to 6 ratio because a lot of people are eating way too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3. This causes chronic inflammation throughout the whole gut and body and actually long term it's been shown through science to shorten your maximum lifespan and so many other different negative effects and in regards to the micronutrients as dr noom arman ra says just to rely on your food alone to make sure you're hitting all your different micronutrients is just not a good idea whatsoever and so many people will track the food that they're eating on websites such as MyFitnessPal or Chronometer, and a lot of time they can think they're hitting all the different micronutrients but for example you could have a carrot from one supplier and then from another supplier and they're grown in different types of soil and this one will actually have different levels of micronutrients in there. So things such as chronometer are not a good way to make sure that you're getting all of your micronutrients. So he has recommended, and I have recommended multiple times in videos before when I've talked about one meal a day, is make sure that you are taking a broad spectrum multinutrient that covers every single different micronutrient that you need to feel the best 
whilst eating one meal a day. And for you to just have no health issues and symptoms if you have any going on, and so you can optimize your hormone production and your cognitive function, your digestion, sports performance if you're someone that's training, even improve your sports recovery time, and many other different benefits as well. So you wanna make sure that you're actually getting a multi-nutrient supplement that has nothing toxic added to it and has a broadest spectrum of nutrients in it, more specifically the micronutrients, and in adequate amounts in the most bioavailable form, which means they are the most easily absorbed and utilized forms of all the different micronutrients that are within it. So what I'm gonna do is put some links down below for the most highest quality one that is created by Thorn Research, which is their elite AM and PM supplement, which I actually take every single day. And this is a sports certified nutritional supplement, and it's specifically designed for people to optimize their sports performance. So if you're someone that's training in the gym or you're doing cardio outside, such as running or even swimming in the sea, then this is going to help you get the greatest workout that you can possibly have. And one last thing I actually add to that is, it can be good for a lot of people to take an EPA and DHA supplement, which are forms of omega-3, to make sure that you are getting an optimal amount of omega-3 to 6, because trying to do it through food alone can be very, very difficult. At least from the research that I've looked into and what I know from my own personal experience. So what I do is also put two links down below, one for a vegan EPA and DHA and one for a fish oil EPA and DHA. So if you're someone that is gonna embark on eating one meal a day and you don't wanna make any mistakes, you can feel the best whilst doing this short term and long term and get the greatest benefits from it, make sure that you do take into consideration and follow the information that I've shared with you today. So a quick recap before we end. Number one, make sure you have a consistent fasting and eating window. Number two, make sure you're drinking enough water. Number three, make sure that you are not overeating. And last but not least, make sure that you're hitting all the macro and micronutrients that you need to have the best health holistically and for you to feel the best whilst doing one meal a day. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about what I shared with you today in regard to the four biggest mistakes that I see people do time and time again on one meal a day that makes them fail on one meal a day and stops them getting the full benefits from this type of intermittent fasting. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on specific subjects such as one meal a day, the 16-day intermittent fasting diet, weight loss, calisthenics workout, and progression videos. Also what I eat and do in the day videos and many other different videos to teach you so much effective and valuable information to go in the direction to gain and maintain the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and many other results as well. So if this type of video sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.